my name is Lottie Rose. Hey, I'm Jessie. And I'm Bianca J. And welcome, welcome to, to the, the Dennis Bloodlock channel. Hi there, I'm Lottie Rose. Hey, I'm Jessie. And I'm Bianca J. And, and this, this is the review for the Nikon D700. Hello YouTubers and welcome back to the Dennis Bloodknock channel. Now in this video I am going to look into the Nikon D700 and the use of my various zoom lenses in conjunction with the quality of the images and of course how powerful the zoom is and what it can help me to create. Well, YouTubers, as you will have seen in previous videos, I have a 24 to 85 millimeter f 3.5 to 4.5 zoom. I also have this, a 24 to 120 millimeter f 4 constant aperture zoom, but I have added a further lens to the Dennis Bloodnock system. And that is this, the 70 to 200 millimeter f4 constant aperture zoom. So a much more powerful zoom lens, far greater range. So again, something for creating rather different images. The Dennis Bloodnock channel is a cameras, photography, video, and general video recording technology channel. If this is something that you are interested in, please like and subscribe and hit that bell button to keep up to date with the latest developments and the latest videos on the Dennis Bloodnock channel. Thank you. When I initially looked into buying a 70 to 200 millimeter lens, I looked into the idea of buying a brand new 70 to 200 millimeter f 2.8 lens. But I found that this, although a fantastic lens, was way beyond the resources of the Dennis Bloodnock channel. So I then looked into a used 70 to 200 millimeter f 2.8. If you see the example here, and this is again somewhat beyond the resources of the Dennis Bloodnock channel. And so I looked into a used 70 to 200 millimeter f4 lens and found, as you can see with these lenses here, although expensive, this is somewhat less than the £2,000 plus of a brand new. 70 to 200 millimeter 2.8 or the 1200 pounds plus of a used 70 to 200 millimeter f Well, YouTubers, what conclusions can be drawn from this video? Here we have a 70 to 200 millimeter F4 lens, which is second hand, which has been paired to a second hand camera, which went out of production eight years ago. 
a second-hand camera with just 12 megapixels when even modern mobile phones often have between 40 and 100 megapixels. Well, the sharpness and quality of the images, especially when you throw in the fact that the images were taken from 70 to 200 millimetres handheld, it's not just the sharpness and quality of the images and the colour accuracy and colour quality, but the quality of the image stabilisation, or as Nikon call it, vibration reduction, which is also quite amazing. From my own viewpoint, given the fact that buying a Nikon D700 brand new back in 2007, 2008 would have been three and a half thousand pounds and a brand new F4 lens of 70 to 200 millimeters would be what, 1200, 1600 pounds to achieve what I have achieved with used versions of this camera and this lens is amazing. So I have to admit, I'm very impressed by this. Anyway, many thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And Dennis Bloodnut will return in the next video. And future videos will include more images from this 70 to 200 millimeter F4 lens. Hello boys. I bet you're a bit disappointed, aren't you lads? <laughs> <laughs>